the player that people were high on coming into the season. Let's move on to another wing player. And this is a guy that, I don't know why I've waited this long to talk about him, but I'm pretty interested to see what you've got to say about Jeremy Sohan because the size is there, the defensive ability is there. I think there is offensive upside. And if I'm taking a swing in a draft, like if he hits... Like, it's huge. Like, it's absolutely massive. We referenced earlier Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, these wings who started off really defensively and then developed an offensive game. And look, they're the exception, obviously. But Sohan's got that defensive ability right there. We saw the success of someone like Herb Jones coming in as a defensive wing and having success straight away in the NBA. I, you know, given the lack of top-end star talent in this draft, in my opinion, you're taking a flyer on someone with that size and that defensive ability at yeah, and switchability, the ability to defend, you know, at least three, maybe four, maybe five positions, um, is super valuable. So, am I completely off on thinking that you know, if I'm taking a swing on someone like this archetype of play hits, it's more valuable than almost any other type hitting, and or I'm just completely off, and he's going to be Isaac Okoro, Michael Kidd, Gilchrist on offense. <laughs> well. <laughs> I haven't heard of MKG in, in a while. Um, it, it's crazy that he's not even 30 and he's out of the league and he hasn't mm. been in a couple of years. Uh, I mean, I think those are fair assessments because both of those guys were selected really high. I don't think Sohan will be, you know, a, a top five pick, but those are fair assessments. And I mean, for him, the swing skill is a shooting. He does have some offensive skill set that, that I think that you can build around. I think he's a, a decent passer. He's in, and he, he's a cutter, but at the end of the day, in today's NBA, if he doesn't develop some type of offensive game or shooting, then it kind of limits how effective he can be on the defensive end. Because I don't think in today's game you're going to see a bunch of Andre Robertsons. I don't think those guys are going to be able to play 35 minutes per game because you know they just don't bring enough offense, and there's so much emphasis on shooting in today's game. But I, I, I would take a swing on him. It just depends on how high. I don't think I would take him in a top 10, but if I'm a team like the Thunder with the 12th pick, I would definitely take a flyer on him. They have the luxury of being able to swing for the fences and hit and miss because they have so many picks. Um, Charlotte, maybe, since they have two two picks at 13 and 15. So those are the teams that I think should be able to take a swing on him. Maybe even like New Orleans. I don't know if there's a clear-cut path to playing time simply because – he plays the same position as Zion or, or, or Brandon Ingram. But I think that, you know, for a team like the Pelicans, you add Herb Jones' defense, he can probably come off the bench and bring some some energy. And if, you know, they're the same staff as there that kind of help Lonzo Ball with his shooting, then maybe Sohan could, could uh, develop into at least, if he could develop into at least league average, then he could be really, really effective. They have the ability to take a swing. Like Herb Jones went from like a sixty percent free throw guy to shooting eighty five. Brandon Ingram jumped up twenty five percentage points joining New Orleans. Like he was shot fifty nine percent so hard in college. Like New Orleans has the track record and Fred Vincent of, of pushing that to seventy seventy five, making him a thirty six six percent three point shooter, making him a, a solid finisher. And if all that comes around, then holy crap! Like that's a really really valuable player. Um, yeah. But yeah, you go to another team where where nothing happens, and then you end up like Josh Eustis. Um, as a <laughs> as a tall forward wing defender who can't do anything on the other end of the uh, of the other end of the court, and that's sort of where we are. So I'm really torn with Sohan because it could work out, it could be amazing, or it could just be an absolute disaster.